In this video, we will discuss the ladder of information hierarchy. If you have not watched the video, What Are Time Prices?, please do so before watching this video. A key to knowledge is measurement, and measurement requires information. Information, however, can range from worthless to priceless. Scientific analysis can draw misleading conclusions if it is conducted with the wrong type of information. There are four levels of information in measuring abundance. Quantity, money price, time price, and change in time price. Quantity is the most basic level of information. Consider your weekly trip to the grocery store to buy a loaf of bread. What is more important to you, the number of loaves on the shelf or the price? As long as there is one loaf of bread on the shelf at a price you like, you really don't care about additional quantities. Saying that you don't care doesn't mean that the information is not interesting. Instead, it means that the information is not valuable to you. The money price provides the information you need to make a decision. Do you value the product more than you value the money it will take to buy that product? A free economy is really an information generating system with prices changing to reflect the changes in the supply of and the demand for a product. Remember, however, that we buy things with money, but we pay for them with time. Time is important because it is the scarcest commodity of all. Everyone, no matter how rich, dies in the end. Time prices, then, tell you how long you have to work to earn enough money to buy a product or service. Unlike money, time cannot be inflated or counterfeited. It is, for our purposes, a universal constant. The percentage change in the time price over the time provides even more valuable information than the time price alone does. A time price is like a picture. It provides a snapshot of people's standard of living at any given point in time. The percentage change in the time price is like a movie. It allows us to observe long-term patterns in the availability of goods and services. In summary, our ladder of information hierarchy consists of four steps. The highest step is the percentage change in time prices. Thinking in terms of time prices over time allows you to discern long-term patterns in resource abundance. 